So I've run the Supernova Infinite 8.5s on my Land Cruiser now for about four months. They've been in the snow, they've been in high altitude, mud, king, like they've been everywhere. I've done about 5,000 Ks in them. So I feel pretty confident giving my honest opinion on them. And we're also going to get Dan, because he's recently got a set of 8.5 hybrids on his GQ. Oh my god. Yeah. We're going to have head by head comparison between the Infinites and the hybrids, and we'll give our honest opinion on the brand and everything and tell you guys what they're worth. So you might be wondering, who is Supernova Lighting? I thought the same thing a few months ago. It's actually a local mob to me down in Melbourne. They're seriously doing some big moves in the lighting industry. So these are their Supernova Infinite 8.5 inch bodies, which is sort of their premium driving lights. They're insane. I'll hands down say these are the brightest spotlights I've ever used on any, any four wheel drive. So let's go through some of the stats, get the box open and show you what they're all about. So first off, the packaging. It is very, very nice. I feel like I'm like, Unboxing a new iPhone or something. It's like get it open. Oh, so obviously you're first presented with the spotlights Which are on my car, <laughs> but you get your spotties here. Um, you get an awesome decal car freshener um, All the wiring which is already obviously wired up in my car, but you get all the wiring included I actually got some white LED rock lights too included. They do like rock lights and stuff I think as well um, all the bracketry stuff and everything to basically get you started. It's a super easy kit that anyone can install. So let's actually go and have a look at the front of them now. So these are the spotties, and they also come with covers, which I think are a pretty good addition. They actually look really nice. I always thought covers were sort of dumb, but in actually using them, they keep all the bugs off them and on those long road trips, they keep the spotties looking immaculate. So I've actually been using them quite a lot. Just by looking at these and holding them, you can see the build quality. Like this is like five mil plate here. It's solidly mounted, like these don't vibrate. Like on a lot of diesel cars, you get some spotties and they'll like sort of shake around. These don't move. These literally just stay steady as, and you never get any vibrations down the road, which is fantastic. They come with little vibration pads too, which I think help in this, but the fact that these brackets just so solid, like that's me really giving it to it, and it's just not moving. So if we look at the lights themselves, the LEDs, they have 32 Osram Oslin black flat LEDs, which these are the highest density Osram make in an LED, so they're, they're literally the brightest you can get. Um, and then that's paired with a daytime running light, and with a general electric three millimeter lens. So talk about like a stone chip. Like these are these are what I'm told been basically unbreakable. So super sturdy lens. And I've been running mine obviously for what? 5,000 Ks. I've had it through mud, high country, snow all in it. It's all watertight. These are an IP68, 68 69 water rating. So that's dust proof. That's waterproof. I think they can be submerged up to a meter too. Um, but I've taken them through bog holes, snow all over them, rain, high altitude, lowest altitude. No water's been seeped in. These lenses are as clear as the day I got them. So now let's talk about the actual lighting power of these layouts. So each one of these draws about 13.1 amps each, which when you're talking about amperage and lights, that's a serious amount of current. Like this light bar on top is only drawing about four amps. So 13.1 each these are letting out a serious amount of light. You get about one lux at about 1.4 Ks and a visible distance of up to 2.4 kilometers, I'm fairly sure. So absolutely insane spotties. Like I'll be heading down a straight road and you just, you see the entire road. There's no part which you can't see down. And you literally just, the distance is insane with these. Um, So they are quite a pencil sort of spotty. Um, That's why I've paired it with a light bar, but when actually pair putting the light bar on, I really didn't gain that much spread. Like these are already spread a decent amount for what they are. Um, obviously they're more intense straight down the road, but they actually do let out quite a good amount of light uh, sideways, as you'll see from the footage. But anyway, don't take my word for it. Let's get out on the road. Let's actually show you what they're capable of and take them for a spin. So let's get in the car and have a drive. So what are the Supernova Infinites like to drive with? Well, they're bloody bright. Like dead set, the brightest bodies I've ever used. They're a very pencil beam, and you'll see that right now down this, this highway, you're seeing straight down the road. They're so strong, you can see the beams of light coming from the light, extending down the road. It's purely mind-blowing um, just how bright spotties are these days, because I went from having this older pair, which, well, they're all right, but just nothing like this. Nothing like this. It's absolutely mind-blowing. They're putting out around 31,000 lumens. They are quite quite strong in the center point but I don't mind that I want that distance that's what this is this spotlight is designed for distance yes it has some flood but it's mainly designed for distance I think a lot of people when they think of a bright intensity spotlight their first thing comes to okay how is it like actually to use day to day is it too intense they do reflect off street signs but nowhere near as bad as you actually think so here's an 80 sign 
it was fine. Like it's not, they're not that bad. And once we turn on to lesser made tracks where there's no street signs, this is where these really shine. Like on those back roads where there's no lighting at all, this is what's gonna get you through the night. Like I would not wanna be on the road without a set of bodies like this because it provides so much light down, down, down range that you don't need to worry about street signs. You don't need reflectors. You have these bodies and it literally lights up the entire path for you. When I did see they were pencil, I was hesitant at the start. I was like, I don't know if I want pencil. Like I want a bit of spread, but this, you're watching it right now. This is the pencil high beams and you're getting spread. You can see essentially 90 plus degree angle out of here. No dramas at all. So for a pencil bean spotty, the spread's pretty impressive. Um, I've paired mine for light bar just to give me that extra penetration on the sides. Um, because one, I was always gonna put a light bar on my car. I always wanted to have one on the roof or something, which I'm gonna have down the line. But I think the perfect match for this, if you do want the extra spread, is just put a light bar on. You can put a light bar on your roof or wherever you want, just for that extra little bit of spread. But you can run these without a light bar, just the straight spotties. And they're honestly, work perfectly fine. I would say though, when you are using these infinites, they're bloody bright. So just be careful not to blind anyone because they're bloody bright. I would not want to be coming the other way against these because yeah, you, you'll be blinded. So now we're gonna head over to Dan's house because Dan's got the hybrid 8.5 in his car. So I'm really keen to see what he thinks about those. So let's go over and chat to Dan. So after hearing what Patrick had to say about the supernova lights on his 80 series, I had to get my hands on a pair of them. Now I've gone for the hybrid 8.5s. Um, Patrick's running a light bar with his, so he gets the spread from the bar and the distance from the uh, spotties. I wanted a light that really was an all-in-one unit, so I didn't want to go running, mainly I didn't want to run a heap of wiring, but the car's in a pretty factory condition at this point. I didn't want to run roof lights. I don't really have any space on the bar to run um, side-facing light bars or anything like that. So I wanted a light that was going to put a good spread beam as well as give me that distance. Now I don't go for a crazy spotlight anyway. I'm happy as long as I can see a few hundred meters clearly. I'd rather see what's at the side of the road. You know, driving these roads at night, um, it's all pretty thick bush and I want to see wildlife or any sort of road hazards that are coming at you more so off to the side of the road than at a great distance. Uh, GQs aren't famous for having the best brakes in the world, but if you can't brake in a few hundred metres, I think you probably shouldn't be behind the wheel. These shoot uh, one Lux at about 980 metres, which is way further than um, than I, I would need to see anyway. Um, and the, the light clarity out to a distance is insane. Uh, they also only draw about 6.1 amps, which is good for something like this. Again, it's pretty stock, and I think the stock alternator is only pushing like 55, 65 amps, which isn't massive by the time you add up all the accessories. Um, so yeah, the low current draw is something to look at, and I think a lot of people overlook that when they're looking at buying headlights. They just go chuck a hundred different lights on their car and then um, wonder why the light comes on on the dash. Yeah, these have been really good um, as far as the clarity. It's like driving, it really is like driving at day. Um, just more so, yeah, like I said, in the, in the shrubs beside the road and that sort of thing, which um, I love going to work early in the morning and that sort of thing. It, uh, yeah, really makes uh, the driving a lot easier, a lot less stressful knowing um, that you can see where you're going. So that's all the stats, and I'm sure that's all good and well, but if you're anything like me, you want to see what this light actually looks like. So let's go have a drive, and uh, you can see for yourself. So I think most of the things you want to look at when you're looking at a set of spotties, or really any lights for your car, are basic quality and therefore durability of something you're going to attach to the front of your car. If it's a four-wheel drive, you are, going to, you are going to put them in water, let's face it, and they're going to get knocked around, you know, you're going to be pushing through shrubs at some point or they'll get knocked somehow. So your basic durability and the light you can throw for your purpose and how much light you can throw for, like I said, having two spotties on the bull bar. So obviously they're a bit pricier than you know, the cheapest lights you can you can buy, right? The, the prices go up, so does the quality. You look at, as we said earlier, if you were to buy two spotties, say a light bar for each, just a little six inch for each corner of your um, bull bar and, and a roof light, you know, you're gonna be pushing the same sort of price or more than um, what, you'd, what you'd pay for a pair of these spotties, but you're adding more weight and drawing more current for no reason when you can get the same amount of light for a lower price and, um, and better quality, you know. Is it suited to your purpose? What sort of driving do you do? You know, do you want a pencil beam? Are you driving 
across the Nullarbor every day or are you driving out to the bush on the weekends, you know? Um, I'm pretty much driving a dirt road every morning and night uh, and, then, and then country roads from there and um, obviously you're not using high beams once you get into town anyway. I wanted something that was going to throw off into the bush at the side of the road as well as give me a decent distance but not many of the roads around here are straight anyway so that's why I went for something like the hybrid 8.5s so where you've got that ability to throw more so spread beam than such a pencil beam. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm super happy with it. Like, I couldn't have, these, these are honestly the best best bodies I've driven behind um, on any car. I've got I've got a light bar on my Navara, a 42 inch light bar on that, and a 28 inch light bar across the roof of my VE. And this just, I was talking to Patrick earlier, this, these bodies just outdo them both to no end. Like, um, I got back in the VE the other day after driving this and turned the high beams on and went, oh, is that all? <laughs> they, um, they're very impressive. It's, yeah, you don't really, I'm impressed with them. I didn't realize how good they'd be. Um, it is like, it's like daytime in front of you, which at 80 k's an hour is what you want, especially on these roads. So yeah, something to look at when you're um, looking at uh, your next, next pair of spotties. All right, so before we get onto the side-by-side -side comparisons, I do want to quickly mention that it is pretty hard to show light properly on camera. It's almost like trying to show you how good a speaker sounds over the camera. Like it just, you don't get the full picture if that makes sort of sense. Like these look way better in person than what they do on camera. For some reason on the camera, they just don't seem as bright. And same with Dan's as well. They just look better in person. And I've tried to accurately represent both lights as well as I could. We just had a dash cam up on the, up on the windscreen on both cars. We drove the exact same roads on the exact same nights exact same conditions. So that, that's just me trying to give you the most accurate representation I possibly can of the lights. But yeah, just basically saying that it's hard to capture light on camera. So if some shots look a bit different to others, that's just the camera being funny. Like unless I had thousands of dollars worth of equipment, it's just really hard to give you an accurate representation on what these lights are truly like. And I will quickly mention too, if you are looking to buy the same spotty as me or Dan run on our cars, you can head over to Supernova Lighting um, and use our coupon code AUSSIEAVOS to get 10% off, which is actually a substantial saving um, for lights this price. So you can click that link in the description. It will take you straight there to their site. We get a little bit of a kickback from that, so it helps us on the channel, you know, make this all happen. <laughs> so we'd appreciate it if you did use that code if you wanted to buy anything, um, but obviously no pressure. We're not telling, one to, not telling you to buy anything. We're just giving you our thoughts on the lights because me and Dan do really like these. Um, I wouldn't have them on my car if I didn't think they were good. Um, they are a solid pair of lights um, and I'm going to be running these for, I don't know, all the way into the future. I can't see myself changing them to be honest. So yeah, now without further ado, here are the head-by-head uh, -head comparisons. So here are the side-by-side -side shots. I thought it was really important to actually give you guys just a side-by-side -side comparison of the lights because at the end of the day, that's what you want to know, which one's like, what one fits your need the best. So. Here's side-by-side -side shots with the Infinites on the left and the Hybrids on the right. Um, obviously, all shot with the GoPro, exact same GoPro on the exact same night, exact same conditions. So this is as raw of a format as we can give it to you guys. So as you can see, you can look at how the light compares around corners, around signs, everything. This gives you a really good representation of how each one performs and behaves on the road. And I'm really interested to know which one you guys prefer. So let me know in the comments, infinites or hybrids. Just type it down there because I want to see, you know, what sort of setups you guys are going for. Are you going for that extreme distance or are you going for more of just a light up everything in a close range? So let me know in the comments which one you prefer and I'll be really curious to see um, what you guys like. But yeah, that's our review done. Um, me and Dan both love the Supernova Spotties. Um, they're honestly a really high quality bit of kit for the price. Like we've done another few thousand K since we did this video and nothing's let us down. They've been absolutely superb. The brackets, everything, like no water, every, just perfect. So um, if you were interested in getting yourself a pair, uh, use coupon code AUSSIEAVOS at checkout to give yourself that 10% discount. It really does add up and it helps us, gives us a bit of a kickback. So thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know how you liked all the shots and the, everything and yeah, just any feedback. Leave it in the comments, you know what to do. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys next week for another new video. So stay tuned and subscribe and like and all those good stuff. So see you guys then. Bye.